Mr. Speaker, the Conservative leadership in the Senate is resisting efforts to hear testimony from Michael Runya and Senator Irving Gerstein. They claim the Senate can't investigate the integrity of an audit they commissioned because the RCMP are investigating the matter. Yet in this House, the government always claims that it's only Nigel Wright and Mike Duffy being investigated. Why does the Prime Minister claim there is no RCMP investigation of Gerstein and Runya when his leader in the Senate says there is? The Honourable Prime Minister, Secretary of the Prime Minister. Uh, of course, Mr. Speaker, as I've said on a number of occasions, uh, uh, the, three Senate, uh, the three auditors from uh, Deloitte appeared before a Senate committee. They confirmed that the audit was done with uh, utmost confidentiality and that the Senate could have confidence in the report that they uh, had put forward, Mr. Speaker. In fact, in the very same documents that the member refers to, uh, the, uh, the RCMP outlined the fact that it is Senator Duffy and Nigel Wright who are being investigated, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Uh, now the member for Random Beer in St. George. Well, here we go again, Mr. Speaker. You can't have it both ways. Either the RCMP are actively investigating Gerstein and Runya, or they are not. Right. And if they are not, then Gerstein and Runya should be called to testify under oath immediately. Parliament needs to investigate this serious breach of the integrity of this audit. Will the Prime Minister support hearing sworn testimony from Senator Gerstein, Michael Runya, and his own current and former PMO staff? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, the uh, three uh, auditors were brought uh, before a Senate committee uh, uh, to confirm that the audit had been done with the utmost in confidentiality, that the senators could have confidence in the report that was issued uh, by Deloitte, Mr. Speaker. Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, it was the, the basis of that report which led us to, uh, and the Senators, to the conclusion that these three Senators needed to be uh, suspended without pay from the Senate, Mr. Speaker. Of course, we know that the Liberals fought against that, Mr. Speaker. They, of course, defended these three Senators uh, as victims, uh, and, Mr. Speaker, and were defending the status quo, Mr. Speaker. That's unfortunate. We have stood up for Canadian taxpayers, as we always do. Yeah.